the second algorithm that we have to study today is round robin so uh, this is a bit complicated than the ones we have studied before but it is more interesting and in my opinion it's really crucial uh, to understand this let's take an example from daily life and let's use the same example that we used for sjf algorithm the printing machine example so let's say you have to use the printing machine in, in your college or university and you go there and there are five uh, more students before you in the queue in the line and you have to use the machines and maybe you have to print few pages while the people uh, before you may, maybe they have to print huge books and they, they need more time than you so what if uh, there is a time limit on the machine in the printing machine that every student is allowed to use the machine for maybe two minutes so if their work is done in two minutes it's it's well and good if not they have to go back in the line and wait for their turn so every student will use the machine for two minutes and then go back in the line again and and wait for them then and and then the next student will use the machine for two minutes. so every uh, one of the students is allowed to use the machine for some particular amount of time and if their work is done that's good if not that student will go back in the uh, queue and wait for their turn and when their turn comes again again they are allowed to use the machine for two minutes so in this way uh, everyone gets to use the machine and uh, the ones which, will, which have to use the machine for a longer period of time they don't um, block the ones who have to use it for shorter period of time so same is the thing in the processes so any process is in, in round robin algorithm every process is given a specific amount of time to use the cpu if that process's work is done in that amount of time it's fine if not then that process goes at the end of the queue again and wait for it it's done so let's say maybe every process is given two units of time to be executed so that particular amount of time is known as time quantum or time slice and it can be different it, it's not fixed can be two units of time, maybe three, or 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 whatever. It's it's not fixed. Okay, let's see this algorithm again in detail. Uh, 